Alright, so this video is going to be about uh, Machina Lanahaven in the uh, the new expansion World Uprooted. So, um, this deck is quite a bit different than previous versions of Alana. This is the deck list that I'm using. So what I usually like to do when talking about decks is going over which cards are core and which cards are uh, optional. So that gives you a good idea of like um, how the deck plays, what cards you absolutely have to have, and what cards are cuttable. So first up, the Machina cards. Changeling Carob, new card from Uprooted, one of the best neutrals in the game. Uh, really, really important other than the effect. The effect does let you control the board, but it's dual trait. It's Machina and Natro, which is very, very important with one card. Robowing for Kant, Robo Whip Reverend, Core. This is kind of, you can kind of think of this as copies 4 through 6 of Alana. Iron Knuckle Nun, the best 3 drop we have, gives us a um, repair mode. Lamonia was a card that fell out of favor of previous versions of Alana, but she's back in now. Elmachinus, one of the strongest neutrals ever printed. Uh, a lot of the decks in this expansion are centered around this guy. The new legendary Vice, which has great synergy with almost everything in our deck. So, um, Machina Alana plays very, very different than earlier versions of the deck, because... It's less of an Alana deck now, and more of a Machina deck, because I've played Alana in like every version of the game, and every meta it's been in, so when it first uh, became kind of a real deck in Darkness Evolved, and the, the popular hybrid version with the Seraph, and then when it came back in um, ROG, um, the deck now plays very, very differently, and... One of the reasons is because this is more of a Machina deck than an Alana deck. So that, gives it, that, that does it for our uh, the Machina cards that we cannot cut. Uh, Alana is a core card. Surprisingly, she's not three of core. I see a lot of people running two copies of her, but just to simplify things, let's have three. Okay. And then, um, since this deck is Machina based and we're using Almachinus, then uh, we do have dual trade cards. The two most important natural cards are Almachinus itself and Changeling Carob. Um, there is a way you can help draw into those since they're such, they're such important cards, and that would be this card, Confectioner. Alright, so that does it for really uh, core cards. It's 27, there's really not that much. Um, that means we have a total of 13 flex spots then. So, here's the way that I think is the best way to build it. Um, Traveler's Respite. Right now in the deck, Changeling Carob and uh, Almachinus are the only two natural cards, but there are going to be Feels Bad games where you draw all of them early, which means that um, after you Almachinus once, you won't be able to do it again because you run out of natural cards. So, I do think Traveler's Respite, two copies is fine. It unfortunately does cut into the consistency of Confectioner drawing these two. But I think it's worth the um, the hit in consistency just to have just to reduce those feels bad moments. Now, as for Machina cards, um, Al Machinus is the most important card in our deck, so I do like having more draw for it. Robo Goblin is almost a strictly worse version of Robo Wing Precant, but we do need a critical mass of Machina cards in order to make this deck work. So I do like having Robo Wing or Robo Goblin. Sorry. The 2-drop Robo Falcon is actually not that great of a card, but because this deck struggles to contest the board after evils are gone, Robo Falcon is very, very good because it allows you to give your Machina Flowers Rush. It's got a great combo with Robo Wing Procont because if you combine uh, these two together, then you get a Rush Bane, which is kind of like emergency removal. So I like having three copies. And the last card. Who would have thought this would happen? Kel. This is not a core card. Kind of surprising, considering how not too long ago, like, people everywhere were calling for this card to get nerfed since it was so strong. And honestly, it's still a ridiculous card. But, again, this is not... This is not like an Alana deck anymore. It's more of a Machina deck than Alana deck. So Kel is actually not core anymore. I still have three Kel in my deck. But I know that the popular version of this deck does not run Kel. And actually runs one of the new legendaries from Uprooted... Justine. You just replace the Kel with Justine. 
what Justine does is, um, well, the main the main reason she's played is because of her fusion effect. Whenever you fuse, she heals yourself. So if she's in her hand, you can kind of think of Justine as a zero mana heal, which allows you to do some really disgusting things. So this is the deck that I'm using, pretty much. Um, the way this deck plays is very similar to old versions of Alana. It's a healing synergy deck. You try to make these gigantic boards that your opponent can't deal with. Um, that part hasn't changed, but the Mulligan strategy has changed because this is no longer an Alana deck, it's more of a Machina deck. So, especially in ROG and every meta after that, when you played Alana, you wanted to hard Mulligan for Alana. Like, I'm not joking. Hard Mulligan for Alana because if you don't draw her, you can't win. That's no longer the case because this deck is not about Alana, this deck is actually more about Almachinus. So, now when you Mulligan, um, you always keep Almachinus, you always keep Lamonia, because Lamonia allows you to do disgusting things, and you should always keep Confectioner. Those are the engine of the deck. So in terms of playstyle, you, your win condition is the same. You try to create gigantic boards, and you do have some tempo plays, but you don't really have any like hard win conditions, other than Aegis, which almost never happens. Um, in terms of new cards, Vice is one of the best new cards. Um, Basically what he is, um, you can use him in several ways. At first glance, you play him on 6, you get to play 2 Iron Knuckle Nuns, that's this 3-drop uh, here. You play him for free, you get 2 four, one Rushes, which is it's almost like a mini Ector. Like a Demon Lord Ector, a Holy Lord Ector, almost like that. That's, the, that's the, the first way to use him, is a way to contest the board after your evils are gone, getting 2 Rushes. Now the other way, the better way to use him actually, is to combine him with Al Machinus. Um, one of the most common play patterns of this deck is on turn 6, assuming you're not fully behind on the board, you play Vice, and just Vice, nothing else. A 6 mana 3-3, three, three, which is really bad. Play Vice, and just do nothing. Try not to die on board. And then turn 7, uh, you're going to play the, the two Iron Knuckle Nuns, because he's probably going to die, right? Play the two Iron Knuckle Nuns to add two Repair Modes to your hand, then fuse everything, to, fuse your whole hand to Almachinus and go for it. And that way on turn 7 you have 2-3 two, two, wards as well as 6-6 six, six, and whatever you happen to draw from it. So this deck is more of a Machina deck than a Lana deck, but the game plan is still the same. You try to make gigantic boards your opponent can't answer. Um, since we essentially run two copies of Lana now, we have Lana herself and we have um, Robo Whip Reverence, uh, we can get some pretty disgusting boards that are like Pretty much impossible for most decks to deal with, unless they're running hard removal or stuff like um, if they're using the Union Burst and Io and Blood, for example. So yeah, that's basically this deck. Uh, one lo one last thing I'll mention is how difficult this deck is to play. Um, I played a lot of Alon in the past, but this version of the deck is it's different. I don't know about it being more difficult, but it definitely requires way more APM because, especially once you have Lamonia's leader effect active. And you start going off Al Machinus, like you have to play like a million cards a turn, and you really have to spend uh, pay a lot of attention to how many cards you have and how many cards you might get from your followers dying, because the risk of overdraw is so high. Like honestly, the the worst enemy with this deck, your worst enemy is the timer. It's so difficult to play things and not run out of time. You'd figure they learned that lesson from Hearthstone, right? One drops that can grow are extremely broken. Don't print those. They're always gonna be broken. Tunnel Trog, Mana Worm, uh, the original... What's that card called again? The, the one from Nax, the, the Death Rattle guy? Same thing, one drop that grows. Those are all broken cards, you shouldn't print those. Let's see. Same portal. This is not a good matchup for us, actually. Not a great matchup. Oh, it's been cat gunner. Okay. I think I'd rather play this. Yeah. That's gonna get traded away anyway, so I think I'll do it that way.
What? Oh, that's right. I forgot. His modesty is actually active. Who would have thought? I think it's actually the first time I've seen Excel Modesty do something. Because this is the one of the few players who's still playing um, Artifact Shufflers. Does he seriously have all three? That's such a strange play. <clears throat> He does have all three. Well, I knew it. That's unbelievable. Imagine running three modesties, though. Pretty hilarious. This is a really big turn, unfortunately. Probably gonna do Limonia next turn. Let's hope he can't clear though. Oh, we got the best one too. Shoot. Okay, he can clear this. But it's a suicide trade. Alright, problem. <laughs> You can actually just pass the turn now, because this gives him uh, three dead artifacts. Three dead artifacts, so the ping will hit this. He doesn't even have to trade anymore. Wow, this guy's so lucky. Unbelievable. After curving out like that, still drawing like this, man, that's unbelievable. Can I get killed, please? That's not killed, I'll take it. How many cards is this? I fuse, it's six. I don't think we need six cards. So, I will use this. Hopefully, we can draw something good off here. One, two, three, four, five. I couldn't concentrate! That's not very good. Hmm. Oops, I, I messed up. That was a mistake. Not drawing the um, Robo Priest is pretty bad. That's very unlucky, actually. I was hoping I could get it. Wait, we have the effect off, right? We do. One, two, three, four. We're gonna overdraw, that sucks. Second duplicator. It's the best target. That's just my luck. Hmm. Now, 
That's beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. We gotta go fast. We're gonna run out of time if we don't do this quickly. So shoot. Summoning divine punishment. I did mess up. Whoops. Oh god, this is bad. We're gonna die here. Let's gain the upper hand. Summoning divine punishment. Oh my god. We did it. Holy shit. That was rough. That's our last stand. If he can clear this, we're probably dead. But he only has three dead artifacts, right? So... He shouldn't be able to do anything with that thing. With the... Vertex. He's trying to get a big artifact turn here. He only has one P-Shift. Right? Let me make sure. No. Oh, two. Never mind. Well, you should have one P-Shift ready at this point. The question is whether you can get the second one ready, but I mean... Technomancer on a one-cost artifact is probably going to do it, and he already played two of the um, artifact duplicators, so he should have two P-Shifts ready to go. If that's the case, he can definitely clear this. Especially combined with the modesty effect. Lifelink one. He can't clear unless he combines with another P shift. Oh, Shion, okay. That'll do it. He's not dead anymore. Mm. Three. Sure. We can't kill him, unfortunately. One heal, this is unfortunate. Oh my god. I guess... Oh, this is so bad. We're gonna die. This sucks. He has one more P-Shift. Hey, what's up, Mandrigan? Pretty good picture, huh? I don't even remember where I found it. Oh god, I forgot he had this. I think we're dead. We don't have a way to answer this. I completely forgot he had the big red. I think I got this from like a Chinese streamer's uh, chat. 
Well, we're so dead here. We never win against that. That is double strike. We have no... Yeah, we're dead. Oh, God. Hard matchup. I guess... Uh, should I have just played Aegis there? I feel like Aegis is way too low tempo. Like, you almost never... It's almost always the wrong play to do Aegis, but... In that kind of grindy game, maybe it was correct. I don't know. I just didn't want to give up my board advantage, but... Thinking about it now, now that I remember he has big red, I probably should have just played Aegis there. Yeah, because like, if I played Aegis, he would have played Tizifone to clear, but then after that I get a free trade with Aegis, because Aegis is invincible. So yeah, I probably should have went for Aegis there. Usually it's the wrong play, but that was like one of those rare situations where you do do you do keep it. This is a very greedy keep. Let's hope I can draw um, one natural card. Before turn 6. Those are not natural cards. Give me Carob. Carob. That's not Carob. Yeah, the Isabel picture, I remember it's like a pinup picture. Um, it's from a magazine. I actually have the real magazine with me. But it's originally a static picture, then the animated wallpaper version was made by some, like, some fan. A Chinese fan, I think. Yeah, it's very well made. It's like, you look at it and it looks official, but no, it's actually fan made. Yeah, I don't have enough knowledge of like, animation to say anything about like how long this kind of stuff takes or how difficult it is, but yeah. It sounds like it'd be fairly difficult to make. Alright, we have... This sucks. Technically, we have turn 5 Almachinus, but we don't have a natural card, so... Unless we top deck a natural card next turn, we can't even do this. Alright, so if these two die, we get two cards, so I need to fuse one. So we'll fuse the repair mode. Do we even need this? Yeah, we'll fuse the repair mode. Gonna double evil that looks like. Oh wow, you're actually playing a full evil deck. Okay. Well, we're gonna die to Zeus. I can already feel it. It's gonna happen. Three evils in one turn, by the way. So the three three attacks, right? Yes. You know, honestly. Oh, thank God! Holy shit! I was about to say, you know, even without the the natural, I probably would have done it anyways, just because my hand is so trash, but I just top-decked it. Well, good thing we're god gamers. Turn 5, Al Machinus. Let's go. Um, what? let me see. Do I ever... I might actually do that. If I Evo into this, it's 5 attack, right? I don't have anything that can handle it, so I guess I'll just do this. Whoops. Guess I got too close. What do we got? Oh, that's right, I forgot about this card. God damn it. Well, we messed up. Whoops. That was my bad.
Should I free anything? To play around anything? I'm not sure. It's fine. <clears throat> I don't think it's necessary to pre pre evo anything. We'll see what happens though. That's an Ayla. Who plays this garbage? What? That's unfortunate. Two damage to all allies. Well, he's gonna play Warpack next turn, right? For sure. Almost guaranteed he's gonna do it. So we're gonna first do this. We're out of steam too. I don't have another Almachinus. This is really bad. That means I should Evo this to play around the AoE. Probably. Yeah. I don't really care about this 4-4. We're going in. Fuck this guy. Wait, do we? One, two, yeah, that's fine. Time to just go in. Maybe I should have not evil that. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, his deck is really weird. <coughs> but it's guaranteed he's playing Zeus, right? Since he's playing all these evil cards. Guaranteed. What? Okay, just. Oh my god. Of course, it's just my luck that I play against these big train dragon players who just play this nonsense in their decks. Like, okay, I guess. I'm never allowed to have reasonable games against this stupid class. Well, we lost. This guy is a god gamer. Um. Yeah, we're dead. Wait a minute. How afraid am I of Zeus? Perhaps there's a better play here. This always happens. I hope to unify nature and machines. Sure, let's do this. Summoning divine punishment. Instinct is what you truly believe. Alright, let's see you <laughs> Elephant got this. This is our, our last stand. We can't do anything more after this. Wait, what does it say? It's an ally, right? Restores... okay. This is our last stand. Bet everything on Aegis. Turn 7 to Aegis, by the way. That's gotta be a first. Of course he has this. He's dead, though. He can't do anything. 10-11, indestructible. Goodbye. Wow, okay, this is... <laughs> I have to upload this. That's unbelievable. That's gotta be my first turn 7 ages. Stupid light. Yeah, honestly, that's what I should have done in the portal game. That was the, the avenue of victory. But I didn't see it. This time I saw it, though. Moonlight drives me mad. Blood? We're going second, right? Oh boy, well... Blood? Can we even beat Blood going second? I don't think so. I don't think it's actually possible to beat Blood going second. We have to go first. If it's the deck I think he's playing, well, actually, it doesn't matter. Whether he's playing Machina Blood or 
the Avarice, Natura, Burn Blood, we're still dead. Like, those decks going first are like so hard to beat. I think we're dead. We'll see. This is good. 2, 3, 4. We've got Lamonia. That means we can get turn 6 Almachinus. We've got Confectioner. To give us natural cards, okay, it's it's burn blood, okay. So unfortunately, as much as I want to play Iron Knuckle Nun, I think we have to play Confectioner because I don't have natural cards right now. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're doing Confectioner. Feels bad. I gotta do it. Yeah, we gotta do it. Do I do it? Let me think about this. Hmm. Normally I take the value trade, but if I do this, he gets a trade here and then value trade this, the, the 2 2 and the 1 2. Next turn I'm probably going to Lamonia, so maybe this isn't worth it. Hmm. You know, I'll do it, I'll do it. Feels bad. But due to the nature of this matchup, I think it's correct to not value trade, to suicide trade there. Claw face, probably. Yep. One thing I could have done that game. Oh, now we draw it. I am your salvation. One thing we could have done that game was to um, value trade to the 1-1. One, one, and then hope that he just goes face. Because then if he does that, then that allows me to get turn 5 El Machinus, which is really strong. So this is one Machinus card, so we need to fuse here. Let's fuse. Change ring, respite. Yeah, that's good. Honestly, he might just ignore my board, go face, which I think is the correct play for him. Yeah. Yeah, that's Burn Blood. You go second against Burn Blood, you lose all your life. Like, you're pretty close to being single digit life by your first Evo turn. Going second sucks, yeah. There are benefits to it, but Blood, like every single Blood deck right now, wants to go first because they get these. A huge tempo advantage if they do that. Alright, so he was smart not to kill this. That means I can't Almachinus here. I can, however, do this. I can heal myself. Right? Is there a better way to do this? We're, we're playing kill. Yeah, we're playing kill. You gotta kill it now, man. Oops. Alright, now we're winning the race. We've got two uh, big bodies on board. He's probably going to play Neria, most likely. Free Evo. Can we even deal with this without Machinus? That's the question. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, he has the Evo here. <clears throat> Wait, why would you do that first? That was a misplay. That was actually a misplay. He messed up. He should have attacked with the Naria first, because the Naria applies a debuff. So that means the Flood Behemoth will take less damage. I don't know what this guy's doing. He, he totally messed up. That was 100% misplay by him. Alright, so right now we have how many cards? Four cards fused. Um, let's keep the Robo Whip. We don't need this other stuff. So throw that away. Six. What do we got? Now, 
Radical, baby. No care of, man. Feels really bad. One, two. Damn. No carob, but we have vice, so it's two. That's probably fine. <clears throat> so we can't Alamakian this anymore. Unless we top deck a uh, natural card. Is, is he really just going to do that again? He has another Nereo, yeah, really? I suppose I'll dance with you. Doesn't have it. Beautiful. This card is so broken. <clears throat> so his one drop gets to kill my seven drop for free. Value trade here. That's so ridiculous. Alright, um... I think this is where we go in. We make a big board now. So Vice... Actually, we can do Rubble with too, that's fine. This is going to be a big turn, so I have to, like, quickly do stuff. Oh, wait, I messed up. I should have played... God damn it. I should have played Hoverboard. That was a big mistake. Oh, it's fine. Here we go. Let's gain the upper hand. Renounce hypocrisy. Oh wait, whoops. My bad, my bad. That was wrong. Renounce hypocrisy. Renounce hypocrisy. Summoning divine punishment. Catching these hands, sinner. I also should have attacked first. That was my that was my mistake. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We have four cards in our hand, so we need to fuse one. I'll fuse the, uh, Pecant. Yeah, this deck is capable of doing some really disgusting things. I had a lot of trouble learning it at first. Like, uh, he's not in, he's not in the chat right now, but, uh, the guy, Love Jesus something, he's in a lot of SV streams. He, he taught me a lot when I was in the early on learning this deck. You get these, you get these gigantic, you know, Chunginator turns. Make these big boards. Oh god, he's got the Union Burst. God damn, that's so disgusting. Don't tell me you have another one. You can't be this lucky. This is like my last stand, other than the Aegis. I guess Aegis is still pretty good here. Dude, you gotta be kidding me! How? How are people this lucky? What? That gigantic board killed by two two drops, by the way. That that's blood for you. Ah, uh, all right. Um, I guess this is not bad. Wait, one, two, three, four. One second. Maybe it's correct to not do Aegis here? Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We're not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. It's not time yet. Oh god, that's not good. One, two, three. Wait, this is already. I forgot. This, this already has cards fused to it. Whoops. My bad. I forgot I already had cards fused to this thing. That's good. Do we even have anything good here? Let's do this. Wrapped around my little finger. 
I'm going to run out of time. I should have played the Royal Falcon also, but there's no time. Next turn we can go off, but we'll see how long we can survive here. Okay, they got Storm, he has Avarice. He's trading, that's good. Okay. We're not dead. That means he must be like running out of steam. He has to actually trade to survive now. He can't just smoke me down anymore. Draw last, by the way. My vice surviving actually causes problems. <laughs> Same thing with this, too. I wanted the confection to die. That makes things a little difficult for me. Um, so we have, this this always happens. Um, I guess we're going off of Aegis then. Wait, are we? One, two... No, we're not, we're not. We're not doing Aegis yet. Damn it. This fucking... The vice surviving means I can't play Robo Whip anymore. This is so annoying. I guess we have to play Aegis now then. Since this is so... Annoying. Evan rebukes. Evan rebukes you. Do I even care about this 1-1? One, one? No, right? Let's play one war just in case something stupid happens. Oh wait, he's in vengeance. That may have been a mistake. Oops. That may have been a mistake. Can I actually die though? I don't think so. Unless he has Zeus. But you don't you shouldn't play Zeus in a burn blood deck. Can he actually do fifteen damage at a hand with only ten mana? I don't think so. I have a ward too. Jesus Christ. All three IOs with the Union Burst ready. Maria. Hmm. <coughs> And my E just got debuffed. Is there any way we can kill this? There is, actually. Yes, there is. Instinct is what you truly believe in. Welcome to the Holy Gun Show! Yes, there's a way to kill this. Uh oh. Wait, is this gonna work? This might not work. Is this even enough? It is enough. Beautiful. Renounce hypocrisy. Renounce hypocrisy. Unfortunately, because of the debuff, we don't we don't have lethal anymore. But at least we're not dead. That's good, I guess. One, two, three, four. That's fine. Go. I can't believe this game is still going on. Unbelievable, man. Blood has so many good tools. Are right, we get drained for three here? Wow, that the debuff is so brutal. <clears throat> no mercy. Free evil. Wait. I think he's still dead. You can kill two things, but I still have the... Wait, it's 6 plus... No, no, no. He's, he can survive. He can still survive here. Okay, but the question is, how does he... How does he win, though? Hmm. Okay. Of course. Hmm... Damn, this is so infuriating. Alright, what do we got left in our deck? Yes! Beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. Summoning divine punishment. Summoning divine punishment. 
punishment. Summoning divine punishment. Man, how many of these things have I played? I don't even know anymore. Alright, this has to be his last stand, right? We don't have anything else. Do we even care about the two damage? I don't think we do. Alright, what else do you have? Don't tell me you have another Nerea. There's no way, right? Nice. Jesus Christ, what a ridiculous game that was. Stupid light. 